woman and her pet are nearly inseparable. <laughs> Cody here now with your two minutes of mayhem. I don't want anything to do with this last story in this. All I'm right. Just, I'm throwing it out there, people. You'll understand why. I want nothing to do with it. All right. San Francisco Cafe is putting robots to work to make your cup of joe. Ah. Javier, listen up. <laughs> a, uh, at Cafe X, a robotic arm prepares and serves many varieties of coffee. Founder Henry Hu saw that baristas spent a majority of their time moving cups around and misspelling your name while <laughs> making espressos. Yeah. He says coffee served by robots costs less than if it was poured by a human, just under three dollars a cup. Who decided to make a fully mechanized coffee shop to cut down on time and energy? Customers visiting cafe's two locations can order espressos with milk and flavoring from kiosks or an app, and there are several choices of local beans as well. Hmm. Wow, interesting. Yep. Does it give you attitude too? And I'm sure it does. <laughs> oh, really? For a little... That was your tip? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, millions of calories were burnt Tuesday, burnt. but it wasn't nearly as satisfying as taking the scenic walk to the donut shop, as apparently I like to do a lot. Mm. Ah. A small garage fire quickly spread large flames, destroying an entire home in Chula Vista. Firefighters worked, out, uh, worked quickly to get out the blaze. Just uh, two days prior, though, the homeowner's daughter and a full troop of girls were selling cookies outside their home. They oh, left man. their stash of cookies in the garage. Oh. No. oh, no. Well, fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire, but 1,000 boxes of Girl Scout oh. cookies were torched. Uh, Melissa Cabral cried. Uh, the Girl Scout Council, however, is replacing the cookies, telling the cookie mom not to worry about the loss. Wow, okay. And here we go, no. ladies and gentlemen. Here's the story. All right. No part of. Okay. <laughs> Talk about an earful. A woman's pet python. Nope. Got I'm himself out. Stuck, stuck in a tight <laughs> spot. I see where this is going. Portland, Oregon resident Ashley Glawi and her ball python named Bart are inseparable. But when she put them around her shoulders the other day, uh -uh. they got a little too close for comfort. Nope. No. Pythons like hiding in holes. No. They found a cozy one in her gauge lobe hole. Nope. Oh my God. Ashley says she couldn't pull him out against the grains of his scales. He wouldn't budge with vegetable oil either. So she oh, went to the please. hospital where they numbed her ear, buttered it up, with a little buttered up Bart with a little lubricant, and uh -uh. slipped him back out. Nope. Her Come ear on. Was irritated and bruised. Bart is just fine. I may not. Live past the day just looking at that. <laughs> oh, good job. I'm done. Like a good, good guy. Like a that is. Like a good guy. Yeah. I'm mad at myself for continuing to listen to the story after you said. I, I tried to warn you. <laughs> you did. You did. I tried to warn you, people. You could have left the room. You could have left the I room. I could have. And what did I do? Sat and listened to the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I had a kitten once crawl through a big hoop earring. You know. <laughs> It did happen once. Ah. Keep wearing it, you know, in the 70s, a huge hoop uh -huh. earring. Uh -huh. Kitten crawled right through it. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> python. Probably where the python got the idea.